The 15th meeting of the Conference of the Parties to the Convention on Biological Diversity is to be held in two parts this year and next year in Kunming, the beautiful city in southwest China's Yunnan province. Ahead of this key meeting on biodiversity and the ecosystems, we are so glad to be joined by Ms. Elizabeth Murama, who is currently the Executive Secretary of the Convention on Biological Diversity. So, welcome, Elizabeth. My pleasure. Thank you very much for the invitation. Well, let's first talk about the pandemic. What is the importance of holding such a conference amid the pandemic? Biodiversity loss does not wait. Climate change does not wait. Land degradation does not wait. And thank to our host, the government of China, for the decision it took to host now uh, the first part of the COP uh, hybrid. And then the second part, fingers crossed, the world will have gone back to normal. Again, fingers crossed, we will have an in full in person later next year. We know that as you have done in a lot of video statements or interviews, you said uh, that uh, biodiversity is critical, you know, to, to the life, to the people, to our prosperity in the future. Uh, mm. But you know, what are now some of the pressing challenges globally in terms of biodiversity? COVID-19 pandemic is a major one. It affects okay. our health. And if our health is affected, it means biodiversity is affected. Uh, the intergovernmental platform on biodiversity and ecosystem services uh, report, which was launched May 2019, clearly also identified five primary direct drivers of biodiversity loss. And these are changes in land and sea use, direct exploitation of organisms or natural resources over exploitation, actually, climate change, pollution, and evasive alien species. And the food production is one of the biggest threats to hu that humans pose to biodiversity. Overfishing, pollution, coastal development, climate change, all these are causing growing spectrum of adverse effects across the marine ecosystems. The World uh, Economic Forum has told us 50%, literally half of the global GDP, moderately or highly is dependent on nature. $44 trillion specifically. What is your take on China's performance on uh, ecological civilization or preserving biodiversity? China, has done a lot. If I look at the convention perspective, China has been a strong supporter and contributor to the global biodiversity agenda and the processes. China was among the first countries to become a party to our convention on biological diversity. China has also ratified the two protocols under the convention. So. China offering to host this conference of the Party 15 is a clear demonstration of the government of China's leadership and commitment to biodiversity. And this will be well represented in the Kuming Declaration to be adopted at the COP. China has been one of our biggest donor country to the core budget of the convention and the protocol, particularly since 2019. Restoration efforts that China has carried out over the last decades clearly represent a good model for future work, particularly under our ongoing decade of ecosystem restorations under the United Nations. And this again is something which can be emulated and learned by the other countries. Government of China has continued to apply long-term approach to halt and reverse biodiversity loss with multiple disciplinary teams that can offer evidence-based solutions to address socioeconomic complexities. I don't know whether you have noticed that a few months ago, you know, the wild Asian elephants 
uh, yeah, made a northern migration. You're right. And uh, also, you know, going to Yunnan personally, are you expecting to see any、uh, rare animals or plants that you can share with us? I will be very sad if I will miss that opportunity not to see, especially when we had the 15 elephants welcoming us all already in Yunnan. And I do understand also that Yunnan has over 18,000 plants. Species over 1,800, almost 40 or 36 vertebrate species just living in Yunnan province. So, this I think we probably might be representing about half of China's plants and animal species. Particularly, I have in mind, for instance, camellia,、uh, the panda, giant panda, pink jasmine. Uh, is it iris? Is it magnolia? I mean, the, and the list goes on. So, for animals, being in Yunnan, I hope I will not miss particularly the snub nosed monkeys. You see, in、wow. my region, we have many monkeys, but not the snub nosed. So, I'm looking forward、uh, to see them. Or、oh, birds、uh, like the, the black throat and teeth. I think if I'm pronoun, I remember the pronunciation or rose minivan.、Uh, if、uh, they would be flying close by, it will be a pleasure and a major privilege. So it will be a major amiss traveling all this way from Montreal to Yonan and not seeing that what nature can provide. And I know it's there in Yonan. You know, it's been, it's been 10 years. Since the Aichi targets were set in 2010. And this、yes. time in Yunnan, I, I expect you know, the participating parties and the CBD、uh, will set a new path or negotiate a new agreement. So,、yes. what are you expecting from the upcoming meeting? So, this declaration will be also the major outcome from uh, this. Uh, the, Uh, the first part of the meeting, and it will be Kuming Declaration on Ecological Civilization, building a shared future for all life on Earth, which is the theme of our conference. So, why do you think a, sh- a community of a shared future matters to different countries? Yes, it matters. First, this notion introduced by The government of China on ecological civilization is an interesting concept. And why interesting? Because it's looking at the relationship between the society and nature. You cannot look at nature different from the society. And by doing so, it provides an excellent perspective for our work, promoting effective restoration and protection of ecosystems. Through the implementation of ecological conservation projects and enhancing cooperation and exchange of biodiversity is, of course, of cr-、uh, critical importance to ecological civilization. So, all this actually will form part of the aim of ecological civilization and the Chinese notion of unity of nature and man, which we hope. Will be a good example for other countries also to follow or to emulate. Thank you, Elizabeth, so much. I cannot thank you more for taking the time、uh, doing this interview with us. And I wish you have a very, very good time in Yunnan. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate、uh, for this interview. I know it will help to also inform your audience what is ahead of us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Elizabeth. Bye bye. Bye.